Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, tonight we're going to talk about what the state of California can learn from the French Foreign Legion. The Foreign Legion has a mythology all of its own, and it has an image in popular culture. Thing is, it's been around for centuries. Centuries. It is said that when a man leaves the Legion, he's a new man. That is quite literally true. Um, in fact, before he leaves, because he has a new name and a clean slate, a second chance. Most Americans are familiar with the Legion through bad movies, or maybe from Tien Bin Phu. The idea of the ideal legionnaire is that he is uh, never a criminal, but seldom an angel. In reality, a lot of them are criminals. But they put their lives on the line. And it changes them. It doesn't just change their name. It, as anything, when you face danger like that, it changes you. Dien Bien Phu, for example, was a just vicious battle in what became Vietnam. It marked the end of French involvement and set the stage for American involvement in Vietnam. The battle was lost because the French believed the Vietnamese did not have anti-aircraft. And they did. That was a pretty catastrophic failure of assessment right there. But the point is these men who have this image of these hardened killers, these people that are just criminals, they walk out with a clean slate. The Legion has existed for centuries. If there was a lot of problems with former Legionnaires breaking the law again, I would imagine the French would do away with it. But they haven't. In California right now, there is a bill, AB 2147. The bill's whole purpose is to create a California firefighter legion. Right now, there are inmates who are trained as firefighters, and they help fight the wildfires. This bill would allow them to expunge their records quickly and then get hired on with state firefighting units. Become firefighters for the state. I think California would be remiss if it doesn't do this. Imagine being able to cut down recidivism. People walking out, having paid their debt to society, and then some, and they're walking out with a skill set that can get them a decent job, which means they won't be in poverty, which means they'll be less likely to commit crime, which will keep them out of jail. This seems like a no-brainer. If you can trust an inmate with an axe, probably not a danger. In the absence of real criminal justice reform, this is amazing. I personally don't believe that somebody should have to put their life on the line to get a second chance. However, given the current situation, if the option is available and it's voluntary, it is what it is. And this is real service. This is something that's helping the community, and it's helping the state while it's helping them. There's no downside to this. California has uh, had some trouble with legislation in the past. This is one they don't want to miss. This is something that could be a great benefit to the state. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.